Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing the Thin Lens Experiment for Physics 110 as part of the Sierra College Physics Department. Part 1 of your experiment is ray diagrams. For each row in Table 1, you are supposed to determine whether the image produced is real or virtual. So using the graphs on the paper provided for you, draw the ray tracing diagrams and determine the image. Part two is the actual experimental setup. In front of you is the basics optics setup produced by Pasco. The OS-8517 is the light source on the left. In the middle is a plus 100 millimeter lens. And on the right is a, a adjustable screen to determine the image formation. So if you follow along on table two, you have a column for 100 millimeter lens and a column for 200 millimeter lens with different object positions ranging from 400 millimeters to 120 millimeters. The goal is to use this as a point source into the lens and adjust the rear screen so that a real image is formed. This will give you an ordered pair of for P and Q and you'll continue to fill out the table from 400 all the way down to 120 in ordered pairs and those will let you determine the plots. So look on this, the screen right now. The image is very fuzzy and then as I approach that ordered pair it gets in focus. If I go too close, it goes fuzzy again because it is trying to produce an image behind the screen. So I'm looking for the sharpest image possible and then I'll have to take the determine the measurement. So currently in table two we have 400 millimeters and then the distance for this one is going to be 123 millimeters. 123. I'm going to go to my next one. 380 millimeters. Again, I will look for my image. and determine that I have a hundred and thirty millimeters. We're moving down to three hundred and sixty millimeters. And I get a hundred and thirty one millimeters. 340 millimeters 300, 132 millimeters, 280, 260, 145 millimeters, 240, 152 millimeters, 220, 
167 millimeters. Two hundred, a hundred and seventy four millimeters, at a hundred and eighty, I have a hundred and ninety two millimeters. At 160, I have 232 millimeters. At 140, two hundred and eighty three millimeters and our final at 120 is going to be Forty four hundred and thirty four hundred and twenty five millimeters. Please use these values for column one. We're then going to move back, change out the 100 lens to the 200 millimeter lens, and we're going to try and reproduce the exact same experiment. It is much further away this time. So at object position 400, our distant, our second position is going to be, or image position, sorry, 423 millimeters. At 380, the image position is at 440 millimeters. Three sixty. is at 491 millimeters. Three forty is at five hundred and eleven millimeters. Three twenty is at five hundred and fifty six millimeters.
300 is at 623 millimeters. With this current lab setup in the lighting conditions, I'm unable to get any measurements below 300 millimeters in the object position. As of note, this is a 200 millimeter lens. So in that case, we would not be able to get any images at 200 millimeters or less in the object position. So you are currently only missing out on four measurements. I cannot take those due to lighting conditions. You'll use these measurements to make graphs 